Hi, this is Gerhard. Welcome to my demonstration of a watercolour painting of a Hereford cow. I begin by sketching in with a soft pencil, a Palomino 602 Blackwing, just doing the basic outlines, a few of the places where the shadows come. It's just an indication of where I want to put colour later on. This cow is in warm light, so the shadows are cool. I've used an ultramarine blue and then modified it with some Payne's grey, a little bit of burnt umber. Also mixing in some burnt sienna, I'm using an Escoda travelling brush, number 8, Sable. I've also picked up some yellow ochre, and using that plus the burnt sienna, I'm adding a lot more of the colour of the reddish brown. Thin, broad washes, quickly applied. This is layer by layer, you build up the density and the colours, refining things as you go. Use a tissue or a paper towel to lift off as if there's too much paint and pigment somewhere. Work all over your painting, don't just concentrate on one spot. Develop the entire painting to about the same level all the way through. Adding a little bit more dark, probably a alizarin crimson, Ultramarine blue mixed in with some of those browns that are on my palette. Burnt umber, alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue give you some very dark colours for the little patches of very dark on the painting. Just keep modifying the shapes, edges, tones, all over the painting. While that's drying, pick up a mop, wet the background, and then apply some colour in contrast. This is really a process of negative painting to bring out the features and uh, define the background. To add a bit of interest, I've kept a variation in the tone and density of the background, light at the top, darker at the bottom. Then I go back and add some of that background color into the image itself. This tends to unify the painting and prevent it from looking like a cutout. Thanks for watching.